Hi guys, so I'm going to continue from where we left off the last time when we we spoke about some inver from some important terms in uh, personal finance. We talked about capital, sole proprietorship, profit, personal liability, corporation shares of stock, shareholders, limited liability, private and public corporation. And we did um, a few questions, and I showed you how to solve it. So today, I'm just going to um, go over a few more questions that I believe would help you better understand uh, the math that goes with um, personal finance in general, which we call financial algebra. Again, this is really simple, math, uh, simple calculations, but I think it's good practice for those of you who are currently taking this class now. This is like the required basic knowledge of calculations that you need to, to succeed in personal finance at a high school level. Okay, so first question. Jackson invests $15,000 in a partnership that has four partners. The total investment is 240000 What percent of the business does Jackson own? Again, so 15000 he invests. So we're going to write 15000 And then the total investment by all of them is 20, 240. All right. So let's let's find the decimal value of that. There's three zeros here. There's three zeros here. We can cross it out. We are left with 15 over 240. Let me see what my calculator gives me for that. It gives me 0 0.0625. 0 0.0625. Now, to convert this into a percentage, you multiply by 100. You multiply by 100 if you want to convert it into a percentage. And that would, obviously, you move the decimal by 2, 1, 2. And that'll give you six two five percent. That's the answer. So Jackson owns six point two five percent of the company. If you have any questions regarding this, please let me know. Let's move on to the next question. Dennis invests twenty five thousand in a partnership that has five partners. The total investment is one hundred and sixty thousand. What percent of the business is owned by the five other partners? So five partners plus Dennis, that makes six, right? So there's six total. He has five partners plus Dennis. So first, let's find, this is a very, it's also simple. The trick here is you need to know what Dennis, uh, how much Dennis owns first, and then subtract that away from the total, which is going to be 100%. Okay, so let's find how much De Dennis owns. This is very similar to the last question. 25,000, start off with that, divide that by 160, sorry for my, my pen, so there's three zeros here, cross it out, three zeros, cross it out, and that's the 25, divide that by 160, multiply that by 100, I'm going to multiply this by 100, so you know, let me show you that. Multiply that by 100 to get the percentage right away. That will give me 15.6%. So he owns 15.6%. But that's not the answer. The answer is this is how much Dennis owns. Percent is what percent of the business is owned by the five other partners. So 100% minus 15.6%. That gives you 84.375%. So this is the total percentage owned by the rest of the people. Simple. Again, if you have any questions about this, please let me know via the comments. Next question. Total number of shares shares of stock in the charter corporation is 650,000. So this is the total number of stocks that they, they are. This is a quantity. This is not 
this is not a value. This is not money. This is quantity, the total. You know when somebody say they have 10 pairs of shoes, 11 pairs of shoes, 30 pairs of watch, whatever. So we have 650,000 shares. So that's how the total number. Now, Coinly owns 34% of that. 34% of it. So how many shares do you owe? That's very simple. So 34%, by the way, guys, those of you who don't have to do percent, 34% is the same thing as 34 over 100. That's what 34% is. So I'm going to say 34 over 100. Set that equal to X. X is the total number of shares I'm looking for. Divide that by 650,000. Now I got to solve for X. I solve for X by cross multiplying. I'm going to multiply 100 by X. 650 by this. This should give me 100X equals to, let me multiply this, 34 times 650, that's a lot of money, <laughs> 2, 2, 1, and there's five zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divide by 100, so we're going to cross out two zeros, Two zeros. So Kunle owns two 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 hundred and twenty one thousand shares. Two hundred and twenty one thousand share Kunle owns. That's a lot. That's almost half the share. Just the final question. The total number of shares of stock in a bull corporation is three hundred and forty thousand. David owns 14% of it. How many shares of corporation does David? It's the same thing as the last one. This is pretty simple, actually, straightforward. Just right away, we can take a sh we can take a shorter version of, of solving this. Turn 14% into his decimal value right away, and then multiply it by 340,000. So this is the shorter way of doing it, and that will give you the total amount. Which gives me forty-seven thousand six hundred. That's the total shares. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you again.